time for another review. Uh, usually I do vocal stuff, but I haven't had a new MIDI controller in a long time. So I had been looking into the older MPK series and noticed that the new ones were coming out so soon. So I decided to wait and get one of those. So I got the 261 version, which is the 61 key uh, of the new MPK series. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then later I'm going to review it. So let's hurry up and unbox. Instruction manual, there's CD, probably all the software add ons in the booklet. USB cable, just basic cable. but the bottom is a some kind of metal, either aluminum or sheet metal. It's painted red, but it definitely feels nice and sturdy. It's Some people might not like the overall weight, especially on the 61 key size, but I actually like this feel. It feels more sturdy than like a cheap plastic mini controller, so I like that. The back just has uh, two foot switch inputs, an expression pedal input, MIDI out and in, a USB, and power switch, and then the power jack for a, looks like it's a 6 volt input, which does not come with this. You only get the USB cord with this. If you want the power, you'll have to buy it separate. So, overall, the feeling is sturdy very solid. The keys feel nice and solid. I think they're semi-weighted, which really just means they gave them a stronger spring. So they're not quite piano weight, but they're not as cheap feeling as like a very basic plastic keyboard. They're somewhere in between, and that's exactly what they feel like. They're just solid, but not, not definitely not piano solid, like heavy weight. So they actually, they feel great. I mean, I can imagine these feeling good playing. The pads I'll have to check out once it's plugged in, but they're the style that's solid. They don't push in, so they're very pressure sensitive. They're not designed to actually push down. They stay put when you hit them. All right, well, I'll give you a close up real quick, and then I'll move on to actually testing it out later. There's that. You got the pads, which they have 16 now. The older model only had 12. They're smaller because of that, because of them having the four more pads, but I don't mind the size. You got the controls and then the sliders. I didn't feel the sliders yet. Oh, well, they feel good. They're not too loose, but they're not overly sticky either. They're just right. I'm sure those will wear with use if you're using them constantly, but right out of the box they feel just about right. The encoders are smooth. They look metal, but they're, I can feel them. They're actually just like a hard plastic. The top might be aluminum, but the actual knob itself is plastic. But they turn nice and smooth. They're the endless style encoders, so they turn endlessly in either direction. So yeah, overall the weight 
and the sturdiness of it is better than the previous mini controllers I've owned. So I think, at least based on initial impressions, I'd say that extra money you pay for Akai uh, products is probably worth it. We'll have to test out how it actually works in the software side of things. So that's it for now. Let's get on to the review.